Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing a really no skill deck. I'm going to be playing Evo Recruits with Goblin Giant on top ladder. So if you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm in my first match here. Facing Tango Meshi, I think this guy plays like a Knight Little Prince deck with a graveyard and guards in it. So not that good of a matchup since he has an Inferno Tower too. I just have to watch out. I might be able to win in single though. Yo, wait, he's selling. I'm going to go for Recruits to tank. He's at like 9 right now. He's probably going to pop the ability. Okay, he should be at 7 now after the ability, 6 after Ice Spirit, 3 after Guards, and 3, okay, well, 0 after the arrows. So, I'm going to go for a Goblin Giant at the bridge and just going to go for Goblins behind it. Should be game. He has nothing right now. He probably has a Knight back, but not going to do anything. If I just go Rage, the whole tower should be down, not back to arrows, and he can't take out my stuff on the tower. Let's go. I actually one-pushed this guy. I can't believe it. I'm also going to BM this guy a little bit. He BMs a lot, and he also BMs everybody. So I'm going to get my getbacks. But to be fair, though, he played a really bad Little Prince into my Fisherman. So I was able to kind of get a sequence off of that. Because I bait out the arrows, and then I bait out the guards. But the guards died to all this stuff. And then I just had to go Goblin Giant Bridge and just take the win. So I'm going to take his King Tower out. But that's kind of funny how like I took his King Tower down to 956 HP in one push. And I wasn't even back to Evil Recruits. Let's go. I'll take the win. That is going to put me at, I think, probably top 50. I should be, like, just outside of top 50 right now. That's a lot of trophies, too. I'll take that for sure. Yeah, 52. Not too bad. Going to hop right in. See you when I find a match. Okay, in my next match, you're facing Betfuss. He's probably playing Expo or Hog. He plays a lot of Hog now, though. But could also be playing Expo. Okay, let's go for the Ice Spirit. That actually does not tell me anything, so kind of unfortunate. But I'm hoping that he's playing Expo. Oh, wait. He might be playing Expo. It's a really good matchup for me. I just have to survive single elixir and then I'll be okay. I'm going to Goblin Giant on this side. I didn't want to play it at the bridge because I thought he was going to knight all the way up high. But he plays it kind of late now. I'm going to go for an ability on the expo. That might actually not hit the expo, but I just needed to tank for it right now. Alright, perfect. Expo should die, not back to log. So he's not going to be able to take out the Litter Prince. That was a pretty good defense. Could have been better because I kind of played a bad Litter Prince, but should be okay though. I wasn't going to get any damage anyways, and I also defended the Axpo, so I call that a pretty good defense. I'm back to my recruits, so if he does go for the Axpo, I'm probably going to have to go for like a recruits at the bridge. Super awkward hand, so I kind of have to leak and let him go in, but when he does, I'm probably going to try and recruits like over here, and then try to fireball rage on the Axpo. I'll see what he does here though. Ooh, wait, bad Axpo. I'm actually going to minions on top of that. I'm going to minions on the Axpo. He's probably going to fireball, but then he's not going to be able to take out the recruits on time, so... Should be okay, or maybe he might be, because I know that he has a log in cycle right now, so... If he does log on those... Uh, I'm gonna goblins, because I'm scared. Okay, wait. That was actually really bad goblins. Okay, terrible goblins, but it's fine. The game's gonna end in, like, a spell cycle, and I kind of have to get a lot of damage with the goblin giant, so I didn't want to, like, risk any log in single, but... Kind of bad goblins. It's okay, though. I baited out the knight, and I'm up, like, four elixir right now with the litter prince down, so I'm probably gonna be able to do something here. I'm going to Goblin Giant on the left, actually. And I'm just going to put it at the bridge, and then I'm probably going to pop the ability to tank for the Tesla, and then I'm probably going to Fireball on the Evo Archers. I know that he's back to the Evo now, so it should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to take that Fireball, take out the Tesla and all that stuff. Going to Rage maybe on the Skeletons. No, one shot, no. Ah, I didn't even get the one shot. He played that defense really well. I'm going to Minions on the Knight, because I know that he can't Expo right away. He can't Expo and Double Elixir at all, actually. I take that back because I'm also an Axpo player, so like I know what kind of position he's in. He cannot Axpo. See what he does here. Um, probably going to defensive Axpo, though. That would actually not be that bad of a player right now. Okay, pretty good play. I'm going to go for a Litter Prince on the left. Then I'm going to Fireball the Axpo. He might try to log and Fireball on the left. Oh, never mind. He actually logged on the right, so he's going to have to wait a little bit. I'm going to Rage on the Archers, and then I'm probably going to pop my ability to take out the Archers, too. All right, that was really good. I'm actually getting a lot of spell damage on the tower right now, and he's having to play like log and like a lot of archers on defense, and he's not being able to fireball me, so looking pretty solid. Gonna fireball on the evil archers and the tower. I'll take that value, because I would have had to fireball the knight and the archers anyways, so I wanted to get the tower damage. Okay, I'm probably gonna goblin giant on the left lane here. Actually, no, I'll just go fisherman down the center. I don't want a goblin giant right now. My cycle is pretty awkward, but I still don't want a goblin giant right now. Gonna rage on the archers. Fisherman probably gonna die, but I hope it takes out the archer first. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna go for recruits and then gonna pop my ability here to keep the litter prince alive. He did go for a log, so I'm gonna goblins on the right and then I'm gonna minions on the left here. See if I can do something with these. 
Nah, he's back to Ice Spirit and then back to Log with that. So he's probably going to defend, but all good though. I'm still getting damage right now. Wait. Ooh, nice. That was good. Okay, I still have the option to go either right lane or left lane. And the good thing is I haven't taken any damage so far. I've taken like a few logs, but that's about it. So looking pretty solid. Going to recruit in the back and I'm just going to wait for him to make a play. Evo split in the back is pretty annoying for me though. I'm not going to lie, but I think it's okay. Oh, the ability didn't go off. It would have taken out the archer. All good. I'm going to go for a fisherman down the middle. Going to go for a goblin giant on the left. Going to minions on the left too. I'm just going to go for... A fireball on the right lane for the archers and then i think i'm just gonna try to go for a rage on the tower to cycle this spell actually no 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 let me go little prince here and then i'll go evo recruits at the bridge four on the left two on the right because he's going for the spell cycle on the right lane and then i'm probably gonna goblin giant on the right okay just gonna go for minions down the center and then i'm just gonna go for a fireball on the tower yo he's selling he's actually selling that tesla was really bad he might be able to defend but that actually made him like Go in such an awkward position that he just had to defend. Now he's not going to be able to go in. I'm going to go for recruits right now. Going to goblins. Going to go for a fireball. And I win 10 out of 10 times from this spot. So looking pretty solid. Going to go for fireball rage. Going to minions. I'll be back to a second one too. So I think I'll be okay. Goblins. I'm back to fireball. So definitely going to be able to get it down. And I'm just going to go for a rage on the tower to secure the win. That is going to be a good game. I'll take the win. Really nice win there. Kind of had to stall out the entire game and then just spell cycle those towers, but played it well though. Played good defense, so we take those. Gonna hop right in, see when I find a match. Okay, on to my next match here. See what deck this guy's playing. I'm gonna go for recruits in the back first play. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm not that no skill. I could just go for the play, but thing is, if he has a bowler deck or like a sparky deck, then I just die. So I wanna play it safe. Okay, it's gonna be pigs. I'm gonna minions on the pigs. They're gonna get so much damage though. Look at that. It's not fair. Oh my god, that's like over 1400 damage maybe. Okay, 1300 damage. That's a lot. Hopefully I'll be able to get it back though. I'm just going to recruit in the back here. So this matchup is really bad. I just have to win this in single or else I'm not going to be able to win. I'll try my best though, but in this matchup is like one of the worst matchups in the entire game. Evo skeletons are really annoying and pigs always get damage. I feel like pigs always get like five 600 damage no matter what. Unless you fireball, then they still get like what 200 damage, but that's about it. Okay, really good rage on there. Um, Goblin Giant's gonna take out the Little Prince. Should I have fireball? He's back to cannon. Oh, I should have fireballed. Yikes. Should have trusted myself, but yeah, decided not to fireball. So that actually did not pay off at all. Even if I went like minions or something, I would have been fine there, but yikes. Kind of unfortunate. Gonna have Fisherman in the back to cycle though. I've got Little Prince and Minions ready for the pigs, so just kind of waiting for it right now. If not, then I'm probably going to cycle the Little Prince and then just going to go for recruits at the bridge. Wait, what? He has poison. Oh my god. Can't be serious. He actually can't be serious right now. I'm going to Minions on the right. Fisherman getting some damage on the tower. We take that. But yeah, that was it. Evo Skeletons kind of build him out and I didn't know he had a poison, so I actually kind of ended up feeding him. All good though. I'll try my best to get the damage back, but... Could be tough in double elixir. I know this matchup is not the best in double elixir, but I can try though. Gonna go for goblins on the guardian and that should die. I'm probably gonna fisherman down the center. I'm just gonna fisherman on this. Okay, I'm gonna go for a fireball and that should die. Gonna get like a few hundred damage on me, but okay, only got 200, not too bad. Gonna go for uh, royal recruits in the back. Four to the right, two to the left, cause I don't want him to poison the left side. I mean, he could probably still get away with it, but I don't want him to play it there, though. Man, this matchup was already bad to begin with, but this guy has a poison. Like, what do I do here? I just can't do anything. Such a terrible matchup, but I'll try, though. Okay, gonna go for a Litter Prince down the right. Maybe I'll go Fisherman, like, on the side to hook it in. Okay, he actually popped the ability pretty quick, so that was kind of smart. Gonna go for Minions on the left. Gonna Rage here. Oh, I hit the Evo. Oh, no, it didn't matter. He's back to um, delivery already, so he's probably going to play it down. Yeah, just go for the delivery. I'm going to go for recruits in the back. I don't think he's going to poison. I mean, he didn't do it last time, so he's probably not going to do it. But I don't know. He he could end up doing it too. Okay, wait. He's actually going to log that side. Interesting. I'm going to fireball and then just going to rage right now. No, he was able to pop it on time. I was so hoping that he would not be able to pop it. 
but all good though. Uh, wait, maybe I could do something here. I'm gonna go litter prince. No, he has a poison on defense. All my stuff is gonna die to that poison log. Okay, poison is not fair. Oh my god. Holy crap, it took out like everything on the field. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go for goblins. Those should not make it to my tower because they're kind of lined up and not next to each other, but should be okay though. I'm gonna go for evil recruits in the back. Let's see what I can do here. I still got one more in me. Okay, let's go for the litter prince. It's probably gonna get hooked in though. That looks kind of in front of the tower. Yeah, that's gonna get hooked in. So I'm gonna go for goblin giant on the right. Maybe I can do something. Hop on the litter prince. No, that could have been something, but he actually blocked it with the pigs. That was pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. He kept it alive, so he probably has the three card cycle. Can't even minions because he just gets a delivery back. So unfortunate. Gonna go for recruits. Four to the right, two to the left, and just gonna go for a goblin giant. Okay, I can't hit both, so I'm just gonna fireball and then gonna rage here. Okay, I should have saved my rage, but evil skeletons are gonna multiply now and help out on defense a lot. Oh yeah, that's game. That's going to multiply all the way into my tower. Alright, that was a pretty good game. I mean, kind of a bad matchup, but still a pretty good game. I'm going to leave that in. going to play one more. Alright, on to my last match here. See what deck this guy's playing. Facing Sasuke, though. This guy plays like a lot of uh, Sparky decks, I think. And a lot of Goblin Giant decks. Like Goblin Giant Lightning decks, too. He plays a lot of Lightning. Just Sparky Lightning or like Goblin Giant Bowler Lightning. So, going to have to watch out. He has the Cannoneer, so... It's definitely going to be one of the Sparky decks. I'm going to go for, I guess, the Recruits in the back won't hurt. I mean, my cycle is kind of bad, so I could probably do it. But wait, I'm going to Litter Prince in the back. I don't want to just feed my, like, Recruits into the Sparky. Wait, I'm going to Goblin Giant and then just go Goblins here so he can't mini pack out my Goblin Giant. Because if he does, then the Goblins would take it out. All right, that was a pretty nice uh, damage on the tower. Thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to defend all this, though. Okay, going to Fisherman... Yo, he's selling. Wait, he has no elixir. Why'd he go for a mother witch all the way in the back there? That was actually horrible. I don't know why he did that. Okay. Yo, wait. I actually survived. I defended like more than half my tower. Okay, I'm probably not going to be able to defend here though. We'll try, but I don't know. This is not looking too good. Pop my ability. Come on. Goblins, goblins, goblins. I need it like right now. No, it's locked on the wrong thing. Goblins. No, no. I sold it right back. I might have to fireball on defense here because I also fed the Mother Rich. Damn. Dude, I just went through like all emotions right there. I was really happy because I got the tower and defended, but I got rolled by the knight and the mini P.E.K.K.A. It's okay though. I'm still in this. Uh, Just have to be careful and not celebrate too early. I really thought I got away with it. I probably could have gotten away with it if I just put my Litter Prince all the way down at the center and then went Goblins late, but... Ah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, let's go for the Sparky in the back. So I'm probably going to Fisherman in the back on the left lane here. And then I'm going to try to see if I can, like, hook that in. If not, then I'm probably going to recruit on top. On top of the Goblin Giant, I mean. going to do this right now. And he's probably going to Goblin Giant and then Mini Peck on my Fisherman. So I'm going to predict it right now. Nice. Wait, what? Bruh. I still locked on my uh, Fisherman, so it's pretty annoying. I was hoping to keep it alive, because if I kept it alive, then I could actually go for a Goblin Giant. But now I'm going to have to put a second one down and then just wait till the Sparky dies and then go in. It's pretty annoying. But I will go for Evil Recruits in the back. All the way in the back should be fine. They defend well, and they also attack pretty good. Thing is, he might Sparky and just shut down my push. Okay, hold on. Let me try King Tower. I'm going to Goblin Giant. That might have been a little bit too far ahead. Oh, yikes. That's not a good Goblin Giant at all, but maybe I can do something, though. Something, hopefully. Uh, okay, so he's going to have to Mother Witch for this. I'm going to Fireball it, because I don't want to feed it too much. It's going to make, like, two pigs, but that's about it. I'm going to Fisherman here to pull the Goblin Giant away if he does go for it. And then I'm just going to Recruits on top. That was perfect. I'm going to Rage, and then I'm going to Goblins, because I kind of need the Goblins on the Goblin Giant. And that should be okay. I mean, I took a lot of damage there because my push did not work out at all. But I'm going to Goblin Giant Pocket, pop my ability. Oh, no, he played a Mini P.E.K.K.A. I should have known he was going to Mini P.E.K.K.A. That was kind of a bad Goblin Giant. But should be two hits on the tower, though. Not too bad. I'm getting damage, but I'm also not playing good Goblin Giants right now. I'm going to go for defensive set of recruits. I'm probably going to go for minions on the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And then I'm just going to go for a Fisherman. Okay, that should be fine. 
All right, that should hook it now, please. Any minute now. There we go. Uh, gonna go for Little Prince on the minions, and then I'm probably gonna try to go for like recruits and then Goblin Giant Pocket. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I should though. Maybe I could just keep defending? Question mark. I probably could. Man, I hate these kind of like beat down mirror matchups. You never know what to do. Um, or maybe it's because I'm a cycle player, but I never know what to do. I just kind of like try to make sense with my plays but with beatdown you kind of have to make like some like brain dead plays to make it work that's just how it is but yeah he predicted my fisherman right there so i'm probably gonna be cooked i'm gonna spend everything i have like i'm gonna try my best to defend here but it's not looking too solid i'm gonna rage on the minions i'm gonna go for litter prince i can probably pop my ability i'm gonna pop it and then go goblins on the sparky i don't think i needed the ability but it's okay I kind of had to pop it though to take out the spare gobs and guardians also taking 15 seconds so i just have to watch my pocket now i'm gonna fisherman and then just gonna go for goblins here and that is gonna be a pretty solid good game let's go all right nice <laughs> one off of spell cycle i would have lost if he had normal towers but cannoneer kind of helped me out because they spawn in with like low hp so it's pretty nice i'll take the win though um if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and subscribe but Next video, I'm probably going to play a higher skill deck. Definitely not going to be as low skill as like Recruits Goblin Giant. But hey, look at that. Top 69. I'll take that for sure. Love you guys. Bye.